Hi, my name is Dr. Lydia Gray, and I'm the staff veterinarian here at SmartPak. Today we're gonna to talk about equine vital signs, what's normal, what's normal for your horse, and how and where to take them. First, when we talk about equine vital signs, we have to be clear what we're talking about, and that's temperature, pulse, and respiration, or TPR. Most veterinary textbooks have established a baseline or reference range for these three values, and they are temperature 99.5 to 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit. For pulse, it's 28 to 42 beats per minute. And for respiration, it's eight to 16 breaths per minute. Now these numbers normally fluctuate based on the time of day. They can also be on the high end of the range or slightly above it if say your horse has just come off a workout. If your horse is really fit, these values can be on the low end. And again, there are reasons for these numbers to be abnormal such as if your horse is experiencing pain or distress, colic, laminitis, or even an infection. That's why it's really important to establish these normal baselines for your horse. I remember when I first got my horse, I took his temperature and it was 101 and I panicked. And then I took his temperature every day and it was 101 for two weeks straight. And that's when I began to realize, oh, he just runs a little hot. So now that I know that and I've documented it in his journal, which I encourage you to do, it's fine, there's no need to panic, that's just his normal. And when he's 102, then I know something is really cooking in there. To get comfortable taking vital signs, you just have to practice on your own horse and on anyone's horse that will let you. So let's start with uh, temperature. You have a couple options. You can use the old-fashioned glass thermometer. And as you can see, I've put a string and a clip on the loop that it comes with. This is to attach to the tail hairs of your horse so that when you insert the thermometer, it takes two to three minutes to cook, so to speak, so you can walk around and do other things and then come back and it won't be pushed out onto the ground. There's no concern that it's gonna be sucked in. That's another myth that uh, I'm gonna to bust today. It also comes with a handy case. Your other option is uh, the digital thermometer. This only takes less than a minute as long as your batteries are good, but you do have to hold it because it, there's nothing to attach it to the horse so it could get easily pushed out. The next vital sign is the pulse. Ideally, you would have a stethoscope and you would listen to the horse's heart rate right behind the elbow. Comes in two sounds, lub dub, and you would only count the lub. If you don't have a stethoscope, no need to panic, you can take the horse's pulse at the facial artery, which is right underneath the jaw, or you can take the digital pulse which is from the digital arteries alongside the fetlocks or ankles. Those are a bit trickier, but good techniques to know. And finally, respiratory rate. It sounds simple, but it can be the trickiest of the three because they breathe so infrequently, and sometimes they'll breathe in and breathe out, and breathe in and breathe out, and then not breathe for a little bit, and you're like, did I miss it? What's going on? So you can watch at the flank, for the rise and fall there of the belly. You can watch at the nostrils for the in and out there. You can even use your stethoscope, which you've just purchased, to listen to the inhales and the exhales along your horse's trachea. For both of these, for the heart rate and the respiratory rate, I listen for 15 seconds and then I multiply by four. And that gives me my value in per minute um, measurements. So you can listen for any length of time you want, just make sure that your math is correct. For those horses that are super fit, you might wanna watch them or listen to them breathe longer than 15 seconds because the numbers will be so low, it's more accurate if you listen for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, even a minute if you have time. Other vital signs that you may be interested in having your veterinarian show you how to take or check are the color of the gums, the pink, or dark pink, or red, or purple, which is bad, uh, the moistness of the gums, are they tacky, are they dry, or are they correctly moist? The capillary refill time, often abbreviated CRT. The gut sounds, digestive sounds, and then the digital pulse, as we mentioned earlier. I hope this has been helpful to you. Knowing how to take vital signs is really important for the horse owner. And the only way to get good is to practice, practice, practice.